Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be looking at the first pass metabolism. This is a topic that is very interesting, plays a huge role in pharmacy practice. So today I'll be discussing the meaning, exactly what it is, and also why it's important in clinical practice. So it's also known as the first pass effect. And the first pass effect simply means, you know, a drug gets metabolized as it passes through the body before it reaches the site of action. And as we know, this usually occurs in the liver, but keep in mind that there's also other organs that play a huge role when it comes to metabolism of drugs before they reach the site of action. So your GI tract and also your lungs. So just understanding the definition of course, it plays a huge role in clinical practice, right? Because we are getting a reduced amount of the drug at the site of action, right? So we have to take that into consideration. So let's look at the clinical significance of this. So we'll be focusing on genetic polymorphism, route of administration, and drug concentration. So first is the genetic polymorphism. And genetic polymorphism simply means that there is at least two variations of this thing. So in this case, we are focused on the enzymes. So there are two main variations. So there are people who have a lot of the enzyme and some who have very little of the enzyme, right? So we refer to them as hypermetabolizers or poor metabolizers. And sometimes depending on your nationality or ethnicity, it's possible that you may express more of one type of SIP enzyme compared to another, okay? And this will definitely affect different drugs that go through these SIP enzymes. So the route of administration is also significant when it comes to the first pass metabolism. And as we could see here, once you start with an oral drug, you ingest it by mouth, and then it goes through the GI tract, which at this site can also be metabolized. So you're going to lose some of the drug. And then it will go through the liver, which it's also metabolized. And then you get your effect. Compared to intravenous medications, which go directly into the bloodstream, so you could reach the site of action right away without actually going through the first pass metabolism. So depending on the route of administration, the amount of drug that gets to the site of action will vary. But we know that for intravenous, that's number one, the transdermals, and then you have injectables, suppositories, and then oral medications usually have the least bioavailability. Now, before I conclude this video, I just wanted to clarify something. So we understand that for regular drugs, when they go through the SIP enzymes during the first pass metabolism, the drug concentration is reduced. But this is not the same as for prodrugs. Understand that prodrugs are inactive. So once they go through the SIP enzymes, that's when they become active. So therefore, you actually have more of the active drug. And that will be the end of this video. Hopefully, I was able to break it down in the easiest way possible for you to understand. If this video was helpful and you learned something, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching this video and take care.